أعوذ بالله من الشيطان العين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على محمد وآله الطاهرين Dear sisters and brothers in Iman, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I had mentioned last week that there are 20 words where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses humanity in general by using the term ayyuhan nas. I would like to present one of those today. But before that, let me relate it to our current situation. The COVID-19 pandemic has temporarily modified our lifestyles. The physical distancing recommendations, especially for the elderly, has forced family members to avoid meeting their near and dear ones. We have seen, heard and experienced examples of families maintaining a distance despite wanting to be together. Even with the recent SpaceX rocket launch and the risk of it being a one-way trip, the children of the astronauts could not hug their fathers before they left for the journey to the International Space Station. Some families have even tried creative ways to hug each other through homemade plastic barriers. As a precaution to protect my wife and myself, our children have been strictly maintaining physical distancing. On the day of Eid al-Fitr, we had our family join us for brunch after Eid prayers, which was uniquely done by all of us in our homes. We set up food in our backyard beforehand and they enjoyed it outside while we ate close by inside. It was not easy for us as grandparents and for my grandson to be so close yet separated by a glass door. This reminded me of the last passage from chapter 80 of the Quran verse 33 to 37 which depicts the scene of the day of judgment very vividly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِذَا جَاءَتِ السَّاخَ يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءَ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَسَاهِبَتِهِ وَبَنِيهِ When the trumpet shall be blown on the day of resurrection, when a man shall evade his brother, his mother, his father, his wife, and his sons, why would he do so while he always relied on them in this world? لِكُلِّ إِمْرَئٍ مِنْهُمْ يَوْمَئِذٍ شَأْنٌ يُغْنِيهِ because on that day, every person from them will be preoccupied with his own issues. So let this unique experience be a reminder that on the day of judgment, there will, there will be only me and my own record of deeds. No one from my family or friends will be able to help me. Everyone will be preoccupied with their own situation. Next up is the verse where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses humanity in general. This is Surah Luqman, chapter 31, verse 33, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayuhan nas, ittaqu rabbukum, waqshaw yawman la yujzi walidun an waladihi, wala mawludun huwa jazin an walidihi shay'an, inna wa'ad Allahi haq, fala taghurrannakum al hayat al dunya, wala yaghurrannakum billahi al gharoor. O people, guard yourself against displeasing your Lord, and fear the day of judgment, when neither shall the father make any sacrifice for his child, nor shall the child be the sacrifice for his father. Verily, the promise of Allah about the day of judgment is true. Therefore, do not let this worldly life deceive you, and do not let the de deceiver in form of the shaitan and his soldiers deceive you about Allah. A statement of Amir al-Mu'minin is relevant here in which he says, On a person's last day on, in this world, three forms will appear representing his wealth, his children, and his deeds. The dying person will say to the wealth, I longed for you and desired you, so what can you do for me now? It will reply, I can provide the shroud for you. Then he will turn to the children. And he will say, by Allah, I loved and protected you. So what can you do for me? They will reply, we will take you to your grave and bury you, of course, in a dignified manner. Then he will turn to his good deeds. And he will say, I considered you as a burden upon me and I used to refrain from you. So what can you do for me today? And the good deeds will reply, 
I will be your companion in your grave and on the day of resurrection until we are together presented in, the f in front of your Lord. Wallah, our deeds are insignificant and whatever is there has deficiencies. But you yourself have said, وَرَحْمَتِي وَسِعَتْ كُلِّ شَيْءٍ My mercy embraces all things. And so I seek your forgiveness. And you have also said, يَوْمَ إِذٍ لَا تَنْفَعُ الشَّفَاعَةِ On that day, intercession will not benefit anyone. إِلَّا مَنْ عَظِنَ لَهُ الرَّحْمَانِ وَرَضِيَ لَهُ قَوْلًا Except through a person whom beneficent God gives permission and whose word he approves. So, I'll, so oh Allah, we ask you for your mercy with the intercession of Muhammad and his Ahlul Bayt, who are the authorized servants of yours. Ameen, Ya Rabbal Alameen.